hello guys and welcome to today's training and in today's video we're going to be looking at a new ai tool called chat gpt right so we're going to be looking at what chat gpt is all about the meaning the function and how you can use chat gpt to start making money online right so before we continue i'd like to welcome you all to our youtube channel webit media and if you're new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button turn your notification bell so you get notified once we drop a new video and do not forget to drop a comment comment section of our videos like our videos and do not also forget to share these videos to people you know right this video is going to be beneficial and very important to right so with that being said we're going to go straight to today's training and like i said earlier we're going to be looking at a new ai tool called chat gpt right chat gpt ai is one of the things that are actually making wave right now online and are one of the tool we're going to be looking at today on ai is chat gpt we're going to look at what chat gpt is all about the meaning and its functions and how you can make money using chat gpt right so chat gpt is an ai chatbot that was built to communicate with you and act as your assistant in any way it can right so this particular tool helps you to get stuff done especially writing it's used for writing majorly it helps you to get your writing you know content done easily accurately and in a very understandable manner and clear sentences and also correct english right so you don't have to worry about maybe making wrong sentences or making mistakes in its spellings or anything like that right so once you give it a command that write me a story about this write me a documentary about this write me a proposal about something like this it's going to give you a very very clear format of how you know that stuff is going to look like if you're writing a story to give you a story maybe you want to write a proposal it might not write the proposal for you but to give you a format on how you know that proposal is supposed to go like what's supposed to start with what's supposed to be at the middle what's supposed to be at the end and the things you need to impute to make it a very very nice proposal is going to bring all that out for you so if you are someone who actually pays people to write stuff for you because you um don't have you know the um the understanding of content writing and how you know you need to write a very good content chat gpt can actually help you get all of that done there are some people who want to write maybe a cv or a proposal about something or they just want to write any content at all even social media posts they go ahead as uh to get you know a freelancer from either opoc or fiverr or anybody they know who is a content writer to pay that particular person to write stuff for them with chat gpt you don't need to do all of that stuff again right so you can just go into your chat gpt website and um type in to chat gpt that okay i want to write a proposal about something like this and they're going to give you a clear format of how that proposal is supposed to look like right so all you need to do is just copy that you know format take it to your notepad and start imputing the things you need to impute at every point right and also if you are someone who writes stories you can as well get this done with ChatGPT. So, like I said, the major function of ChatGPT is to help you in writing, right? It's to help you in writing. So, how can you use ChatGPT to make money? First of all, I'm going to be showing you the things you can do with ChatGPT. Then, I'll show you the money aspect of how you can use this to make money online, right? So, the first thing we need to look at is for writing short stories now you can use chat gpt for writing short stories. if you're someone who is involved in story writing you write stories you can use chat gpt to actually get all of that done right so you don't need to start cracking your head and say oh i want to write a new story today what content should i write about or maybe you finally get a content you want to write about um maybe two lovers who fell in love and got betrayed by a friend maybe that's the title of the story you now want to start thinking oh how can i write this story what should be their names um what should the story look like what's the event that happened in the story that led, led to the betrayal that led to them falling in love and all of that you don't have to worry about all of those stuff with chat gpt you can actually get that done let me show you how you can do this first of all you need to go to the chat gpt website this is the link you know of the site right here is the link but if you can't get this link i'm going to be dropping this link in the description of this video so you can just click on the link to access the chat gpt website and also if you don't want to go through the link you can just go over to your google your browser and just type in chat gpt and it's going to bring it up for you just click get into the website set up your account because you need to have an account before you can use the chat gpt you know website so first of all to set up your account they'll ask you for your email 
you put in the email you want to use to create the account they will ask you for your first and last name you put that in they're going to ask you for a password you add that and they're going to ask you to enter in your phone number so they can use that to verify your account once you put in your phone number a verification code is going to be sent to that phone number so it has to be a working phone number so they're going to send you a verification code to the number and all you need to do is just put in the verification code in the place they're going to ask you to fill it in and then your account is verified you can start using the chat gpt you know platform right so after doing all of that you're going to be redirected to this page and to use the chat gpt you just come over to this black button right here saying try chat gpt with an arrow facing upward i'm going to click on that and it's going to take us to another tab opening the account for us so yeah this is our chat gpt you know platform is the website here we can start using chat gpt before you can get to this stage we want to do something like checking your connection to make sure it's secure and all of that so you just have to wait for a while then before you can access the website so here they are showing you examples of what you can use chat gpt to do the capabilities and the limitations you can read all of that at your spare time and you know get started with chat gpt now this box right here is where you can type in you know whatever thing you want chat, chat gpt to do for you and you can see here new charts right so once you click on new chart it's going to you know wipe off your former charts that that you sent to chat gpt to get done for you and start up a new chart right so right now we are having a new chart so maybe when we are done with this particular chart we can just come over to new charts to add you know a new command right so that's how it works so here you can see the history of the things who have asked ChatGPT to get done for us. You can see write a design proposal, get websites for a business, why people love Ronaldo, write a WW2 documentary, which that poor dad. So I'm gonna be showing you, you know, how I came about all of these stuff. These are stuff that I've asked ChatGPT to get done for me, and it actually came out properly. So I'm gonna be doing all of that again in this video to show you how this actually works. So first thing we said we want to use ChatGPT to do is for writing short stories, right? So we're going to come over to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT, okay, write, okay, let me use, write me a story of two lovers who fell in love and later got betrayed by a friend so this is the you know keywords that i want to actually use to get to write the story i can see after giving it the command write me a story of two of us who fell in love and later got betrayed by a friend you can see it's writing me the story easily it does not even have to sit down and start thinking oh what should i write like the way we humans will actually do if you want to write a new story you can just go like a day to day is trying to think about the story or even be jotting it down in maybe a notepad or something then when you're finally done with your jotting you now sit down to start reconstructing everything to make sure it actually makes sense and you know easy for people to read right so but with chat gpt it does not have to start sitting down to think you can see it's just writing me the story straight up and it's finally done, right? It's finally done. So you can read through the story and there was a young man named Jack who fell in love with a beautiful woman named Emily. You can see it even gave you a name to show you how smart this thing actually works. They met at a coffee shop in their hometown and immediately hit it off. They spent hours talking and getting to know each other and they were and they knew they had found something special. If you read through this story to the very end, you see that it actually makes sense. I've taken my time to, you know um check out this stuff to see if it actually works right i told you to write a story for me and when i read through it it actually makes perfect sense without no mistakes without no grammatical error or anything like that right so it actually works very fine so if you're someone who is interested in story writing you write novels you have a youtube channel where you tell stories and all of that you can use chat gpt to actually get this done if you're a parent and maybe your children are always bothering you for stories before their bedtime and all of that and you do not have stories to tell them you can just come over to chat gpt right here and just say uh, maybe write me a children bedtime story and maybe it's actually going to bring up something for you let's try that um let's say write me children bedtime stories let's see if it's actually going to work so you can see here it's yeah, sure 
here are a couple of bedtime stories that i can come up with the magical forest you can see this actually works very fine so if you're a parent and you are your children are watching news daddy tell us a story mommy tell us a story before we go to bed you can actually come here to get the story and just read you know to your children from your phone or from your laptop if you're with your laptop and you know you can actually get that done right so charge gpt can actually be used to write stories it can actually use write stories the next thing we can use chat gpt to do is for book summary for book summary how can you use chat gpt for book summary let's open a new chart okay now let's say there are some people who before they read a book or before they watch a movie they actually like to get you know a summary about that movie or about that book they want to know what happened movie if it's worth watching or if it's worth reading and stuff like that right for example i'm kind of person that if i want to watch a movie if i want to watch a movie the first thing I, need, I do is maybe i'm watching a movie on netflix i go to the description of the movie you know and um so i go to the description of you know the movie and try to read up about what the movie is all about and stuff like that right but if it's i'm watching a movie that does not have a description or does not have a clear description a clear explanation of you know what the movie is all about i click on the movie to watch and i scroll through the movie to maybe the middle and also to the ending to see what actually played in the movie if it's actually you know what's watching i look at the cast to see if it's people or actors and actresses that i actually like and if they are not the type that I like, I just stop watching the movie. Or if it's something, if I see the movie is not something that I would actually like, maybe the whole scenario and everything, I just stop watching, right? So this is one of the things that ChatGPT can actually help you do, right? So if maybe you want to read a book, you want to watch a movie, you can just come out to ChatGPT and say, write me a summary about so 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 thing, write me a summary about so so book and all of that. So let's try that right here. Coming to a new chart, I'll say, write me. A book summary on we know this popular book which is rich dad poor dad rich dad poor dad right write me a book summary on rich dad poor dad you can see it's coming up with the summary already right it's coming up with the summary already. okay so you can see it has come up with the summary of the book already right you can see rich dad poor dad is a personal is a personal is a personal finance book by Robert Kiyosaki that advocates for financial independence and wealth creation through investing in assets such as real estate and businesses rather than just in a high income through traditional employment. The book is written in the form of parable featuring Kiyosaki's two dads, his biological father who was highly educated but struggled financially and his best friend's dad who was less formally educated but financially successful. So you can see how chat can actually help you get this done with ease so if you're someone who has not read this book read that poor dad and maybe you have been hearing about it a lot and like okay i want to finally read it but i want to get a summary about what the book is all about you can just come over here read the summary and say oh i think this book is actually worth reading you get the book and you can read through the book so you can see that chat can actually help you get this done with ease so you don't have to start struggling and say oh I'm going to watch youtube videos or Telling, looking for people who has read the books to start telling you you know what the book is about and stuff like that you can just come over here to charge you to get the summary of the book and boom go ahead and do what you want to do even with the summary you can decide not to read the book because the summary has given you a full detail of what went on in the book and what the book is all about so you do not have to actually go ahead to read the book because the purpose of summary is that it actually gives you the most important informations about whatever thing you want to read about or whatever thing it is summarizing right so if you're someone who is involved in you know writing summaries yeah there are people who do stuff like that they write summaries about books about movies about documentaries you can use ChatGPT to actually get this done you can use to charge and if you are someone who's looking for something to do online in the content writing you know um content writing space you can start doing book summaries set up a blog website um just for book summaries or a youtube channel just for book summaries right so um the next thing we'll have on our list is documentary writing okay so how can you use chargeability to actually write you know documentary now let's try this out going to new chart let's say we want to write a documentary about the second world war right you can just say write me a documentary documentary 
about the Second World War. Going okay, so you can see it's writing you the story already. The Second World War was global war that lasted from 1939 to 1945. It involved the majority of the world nations, including all the great powers, eventually forming two opposing military alliances. You can see this thing actually works very, very fine and very, very smart, right? So you are someone who is involved in documentary writing, you can actually use this to get this done. For someone who is involved in history writing, this can actually work perfectly fine for you. Let's try something else about documentary writing. Let's say write a documentary about the Benin invasion. So you can see this thing actually works fine. The Benin invasion, also known as the Benin expenditure, was a punitive expenditure led by a British force against the big kingdom of Benin in present day Nigeria in 1897. So this thing actually works fine. If you're a student and maybe you need to write histories or documentaries about stuff in school, you can actually use this stuff, this some um, chat GPT to actually get those stuff done perfectly and fine right so moving over to the next thing we can use chat gpt to do is sports writing right you can also use chat gpt for sports writing let's see how that actually works let's see um right about why people love cristiano ronaldo sorry okay Christian Ronaldo is a professional soccer player who is widely considered as one of the greatest players of all time. So, you are someone who is involved in sports writing. You have a blog where you write sports stories. This tool can actually get you know your content creation um process done easily, right? So, let's say you want to write a blog post about why people love Christian Ronaldo. You can just come. That's a very perfect blog post story. You can just come over here to get a story about why people love Christian Ronaldo and go over to you know. Go over to ChatGPT. I'm um, sorry. Go over to your blog or wherever you want to post your story on, and you know get it done, right? Okay. So these are stuff that ChatGPT can actually you know get done for you. You can come over here and say write me a story about why. Come over here and say write me a story about you know why Cristiano Ronaldo is considered one of the best players in the world. Is actually going to get it done. Write me a blog post about. You know why people love Messi. Anything you want to write about sports, you can actually come over here to ChatGPT. All you need to do is just click on create a new chart, tell ChatGPT what you want to do, and it's going to you know use artificial intelligence to actually you know get it done for you. As far as it's something that is actually reasonable and it's something that can actually come out, you know, when you search for it, right? It's something that is easily you know processable, right? You can see when I'm I was typing in here, right, about why people love Christian Ronaldo, and I made a mistake. In the spelling of Ronaldo, it could correct itself easily because it already has a clue about you know what I actually want to write about. You understand? So the next thing we can use ChatGPT to do is for social media post. Social media post. I'll show you how you can use this for social media post. Okay, so how can you use this? to write um social media posts now let's say you're someone who has a very busy schedule and do not have time to actually you know set up content for your social media like me sometimes i get too busy and i forget to you know upload posts to my social media page now the reason why this happens is because i don't want to just go over there to post a picture only with a shitty content and something that is not actually appropriate right so what i I do it. I just leave my social media posting whenever you know I have the time to go over there to create post and upload to the social media page because I'm the one who handles most of those things, right? So you can actually use ChatGPT to actually get this done with ease. Now let's take for example you want to write a post, or you want to now this thing can actually help, help, um you know get stuff done easily for you in this manner. Let's say you are someone who is very busy. Now you want to create a a a 
a, uh, you want to create a set of posts that you would actually want to be posting for a week. Let's say you want to be posting every day. You can just come over here to chat GPT and say, okay, let's say for this week you want to be posting stuff about web design because that's in, um, the business I've heard, the web design, digital marketing. Now, let's say you want to be posting content about web design for one full week. You can just say, write me, write me social media posts social media post about why you need to get a website for your business right so we can just come over here to see okay so once we get this done write me a social media post about why you need to get a website for your business Tell it to charge it. Okay, we are having a little network issues here. So you can see that ChatGPT can actually help you get this stuff done with ease, right? With ease. You can see the post coming out perfectly. All you need to do is copy this, make a few tweakings, you know, go over to your social media handles and post it there. Sometimes it even comes with an hashtags, right? You know hashtags are important when you are creating a social media post. It comes with hashtags, right? Sometimes it comes with hashtags. You can just copy everything straight up. And they actually provide you with the right hashtags. They don't provide you with shitty hashtags that don't help your post run properly. They give you proper hashtags that you can add to your post and, you know, upload to your social media handles immediately. Next thing you can also use this to do is to write proposals, write letters and all of that. Let's say we want to write a proposal. Um write proposal um for a product I want to sell to a company. Okay, so you can see it's writing the proposal out for me perfectly. I'm writing to propose a new product that I believe would add valuable addition to your product line. You can see this thing actually works perfectly without any stress. So anything you want to do that has to relate to content writing in general, you can come over to ChatGPT to get it done. Let me make one more example. Let's say write an essay about important importance of education in nigeria let's see if this actually going to work coming out perfectly right coming out perfectly so you can use chat gpt to actually get anything you want to do done as far as it relates to content writing as far as it relates to content writing you can actually get this done with ChatGPT. Now we have looked at the things you can use ChatGPT to do. How can you make money using ChatGPT? How can you make money using ChatGPT? Now you can work as a freelancer, as a content writer, freelancer, and start earning money with ChatGPT. Now you can go over to freelancing site like Fiverr, like Upwork, and create a new account, set up gigs on content writing and maybe you can just go over there and say okay you want to specialize in book summary or you want to be specializing in documentary writing sport writing and stuff like that right you can just go over to fiverr go over to upwork and do all of that set up your account and start getting people to buy your gigs and hiring you to write content for them let's go over to upwork let's see how much you can make working as a content writer on upwork now this is upwork this is upwork still loading up websites okay let's use fiverr let's use fiverr let's say we were looking for documentary documentary writer okay documentary writing you can see i will write a, an emotional motivational dramatic script for Let's check this out. I write an emotional, motivational, dramatic script for your video or documentary. What's the price? Fifteen dollar for basic. For standard, we have twenty dollar for premium. We have thirty five dollars. How many days delivery? Three days delivery. Three versions. Blah blah. And I can assure you that this person is not going to do one work. Going over to ChatGPT, you can actually get whatever thing you want to do done. You can see I write a real life documentary, true crime script, podcast. Blah blah. blah. For how much? Ten dollar. 
this you can see here is charging six hundred and fifty dollars man six hundred and fifty dollars imagine this person is getting you know like 10 jobs in a day let's go as a calculator and let's see how much this person is making in one day charging six hundred and fifty dollars now come over here six fifty dollar times ten Person is going to be making six thousand five hundred dollars in one day. If the person can actually get ten jobs in one day, it's going to make six thousand five hundred dollars in one day. And I think the current dollar rate is about seven hundred and ten naira. I don't really know. I think about seven ten. Now let's multiply this um thousand five by ten uh, seven hundred and ten dollar. Person is making like four million six hundred fifteen thousand six hundred fifteen thousand naira in just one day. If the person can actually get ten people. To pay him this amount in one day and this is the starting price meaning they can go higher like you can charge higher depending on what the person wants to do the person charging ten dollar here can also end up making two hundred dollar for one job depending on what the person wants to do it's not compulsory that okay my starting price is ten dollar you must collect ten dollar for one job no it's not that so let's go over and see what that price is. you can see twenty dollars sixty dollars we can see five dollar ten dollar ten dollar blah 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 so you can come over here to list your service and say, okay, you want to be a documentary writer. You can come over here, you know, list your service here and start making money with this skill. And you can come over to start doing book summary here also on Fiverr. You, and the good thing about this is that you don't have to have any experience about writing. You can use ChatGPT to get all that shit. You don't even need to start sitting down for film. This that this ChatGPT actually wrote for me. Is it correct? Is it right? Uh, did any grammatical error? It's working perfectly fine without any error. So you can actually start using this to start making money for yourself in 2023. If you know this video was helpful to you and um um very important to you and you actually like this video, give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to share this video to your friends and drop a comment in the comment section of this video. Let's see what let's hear what you have to say about chat GPT. And also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in our next video. Thank you.